morning guys, day two in Hiroshima and before we get this video started I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the room. As you come in, wardrobe, clothing area, bathroom, fairly standard, singing toilet, telephone, yeah. Typical uh, Japan giving all you the free toiletries, toothbrush, everything you need, clothesline, shower, bath, girlfriend, bed is actually very comfortable and so are the pillows, it's that, desk, kettle, green tea, uh, yeah. TV, we're not going to use that. This is everything. Uh, this is the view. Pretty amazing view, to be honest, especially as you have the famous building, the dome, which is right there. That's where the atomic bomb was dropped above. So, yeah, the room is not the best that we've stayed in yet. The bed's probably the most comfortable one though, um, but it's kind of like an older um, star hotel, but we're not gonna complain, you know, have us everything we need, it's I'm adequate complaining. size and whatever. What's that? I'm complaining. You're complaining about the parking issue. Yeah, I'm gonna write a massive complaint when I get home. Okay, so a complaint is going to be said about the parking issue, but the hotel itself, we can't really complain, it is what it is. Um, we're going to head out now, we're going to head to the Hiroshima, uh, what's it called? No, we're going to the American Diner. Yeah, we're going to go to the American Diner, but where's that? It's at the Hiroshima... Marina. Marina, that's it, it's at Hiroshima Marina. And uh, we're gonna have a look around there, get some lunch, but it's pretty late. We had a nice lie in today. Um, and then we're gonna get the day started, so let's go. Oh, we're gonna put some tunes on in the car. What does this uh, necklace say? G. The gangster. Because I'm a mother. <laughs> I have to beep, beep for, that out. G for George. Do you feel like Christian Guzman or someone? I feel like you're, um, what? What is, um, Guzman's cameraman? Yeah, that used to be Javon, I don't know what it's to me, ages. Is it Javon? I don't know. Maybe. Um, to talk about how we're gonna go to have a meeting with, at the bank and then we're gonna go to the post office to try and get some shipping discounts. And then how we're gonna... Stop. Where did you put the key for the room? I don't know. Bro, oh my god, hottest day ever, yes. Quick, I'm melting. Melting. Put the key in quick. now for the next five days we're in Hiroshima. That's what we like though, isn't it? When we find somewhere that we like, we just stay, go, keep going there. 
Safe option, isn't it? Yeah, it's like KFC in Iceland, yeah. isn't it? Remember when we went to Iceland and we just went to KFC for tea every single night? We didn't go every single night. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we've uh, came back to the hotel, had a nice cool shower, changed into some more appropriate clothing. It was very, very hot outside, and we're actually going to go to the Hiroshima um, Peace Memorial. Peace Memorial. Why do you get it every time? Every time on the camera, you had to. I'm, ra I'm actually going to go to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial and Dome um, right now, and. Uh, yeah, then I'm gonna to go to the gym, so let's go. You ready? Yee, buddy. Okay then, so right now we are at the um, Peace Memorial Pond and that behind me is the um, stone tunnel 
that was actually um, put up about seven years after uh, the atomic bombing um, and it was actually uh, put there while my granddad was in Japan in 1952 so what's that 65 years ago now um, he was there in the Korean War um, he was stationed not too far away from here in, in a place called Kyori um, so I have lots of photos that he took through that dome and obviously you can see the um, you know the dome tower where the uh, atomic bomb was dropped above so uh, it's really Know, quite a nice thing that they made something like this obviously to remember the people that died and whatever and you know with the hope that nothing like this would ever happen again oh, I was just gonna say yeah we just went to that um you know that uh, that stone tunnel that you can see the dome building through and um, that Oh, is it? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It was put. It was put there 1952. That would have been the year the you. That would have been the year you. Is that the year you went there or the year before? Oh, okay. oh yeah. Okay, so we just walked up to the dome building itself, just took some photos and whatever. Um, now, the actual building itself is fenced off now, and it has been for the past 20 years or so. Um, but when my granda was here in like 1952, 53, uh, you know, it wasn't fenced off, it wasn't the case. Everything around here was still all devastated, and he, my granda, could actually just walk in, um, in the building and just, you know, pick rubble up. Um, and you know see it close up but I guess it's not really the case now I guess they want to you know preserve it and you know keep it a monument really and keep it intact and not be um, you know it's been restored and things so yeah we got ice creams yeah. but this 30 degree heat is um, doing them too well Okay, so we were just saying that tonight's been really nice just to kind of walk, you know, along the water and then see the um, t see the two memorial sites, the stone tunnel and the uh, dome building itself. You know, it really was an experience um, and it's something that you definitely got to do if you're in Japan and in Hiroshima. Um, but it really was, you know, quite breathtaking, especially when you and um, think about how much life was simply just lost like in a split second um, so fast and then obviously how much life was lost after that um, you know just innocent people just innocent women children and um, yeah it's crazy when you think about it really but uh, yeah it's been really nice especially now it's not too hot because typically in the day, you know, when when it's when the sun's out, it's like just too intense. The heat is obviously it's hotter in the sun. But when, once the sun's gone down, 
it tends to cool down slightly and it makes it a bit more bearable um, and yeah a bit more easy to walk because when it's so hot you just do not feel like doing anything which is kind of like you know a, which is sad really because obviously you start the days off when you have this big plan you know a big list of things that you want to do today and then you step outside and you just like oh, and you just feel that mountain you don't want to do anything but yeah it's definitely a lot better doing things later on at night nice this probably looks really like acting up but i literally just was thinking when you come over i'm gonna ask you what your first thoughts are because i was gonna say do you not think here they speak better english like they know what you're saying some people think, like when i was in that 7-eleven she said bag and i said yeah two please i didn't even have to do that for two i mean i didn't have to say that for one even and then the woman knew we said mango and caramel at the ice cream do you know what i mean and then the woman in the restaurant this is here said that it's cheaper with your meal for that drink do you know what i mean yeah i think so do you reckon it's like that though but because there was a lot of english people here years ago english speaking countries do you reckon can we walk yeah do you reckon that's the case though that because obviously if your granddad was here years back and okay so that's where we were that's where that dome building is around there then we got an ice cream and then we've walked along here to here and that's the hotel right there <laughs> what Looking at that. You don't What's going on, guys? Mate, it's Do you not Austin. think it's funny though that you've never even met someone and you always do the accent? Yeah. So like obviously you've met him. Mochen. But I haven't. Tony. It's always like DJ Witness Mood. <laughs> Okay, so right now, pretty much ready to go to the gym. Just having a little pre-workout meal though. This is what I've got. So I have three of these Danone Greek yogurts, one cookie, and then a monster. Gonna have that on the way to the gym. And the time is 9.52.
Okay guys, so finished in the gym right now then. Um, I actually trained at Anytime Fitness, which is, I'm pretty sure it's a worldwide um, gym. Seven 24 hours, I uh, managed to get a three day trial pass. Um, so that's always good. Um, I actually had a really good workout, considering it's my first upper workout for a week now. Last time I trained was on the 19th of July. Today's the 26th. Um, I was surprised that I had a, such a good workout, but I had a, you know, I had a so good pump. Uh, part of it's down to just how hot and humid it is here. Um, you know, got all my veins showing and whatever, but um, you know, I don't think I'm gaining too much fat while I'm out here, so that's a good thing. Um, and my strength is right up there as well. Pretty much, you know, maintain my lifts. Obviously. Um, you know, when you haven't trained, you kind of lose um, your efficiency when it comes to your lift. You know, your, um, your I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say your um, motor patterns when you lift. Um, but yeah, finished the workout, got it all done in about an hour and 45 minutes, which is good. Then walked out of the gym and across the road there was a 7-Eleven. So just got a bag full of gains, managed to pick up two chicken breasts, two packs of beef, which I'm not too sure what it's gonna taste like. And then I got like six protein bars, these things, they only have like 10 grams of protein in each, but you know, it's better than nothing. And um, you know, I'm pleased that I managed to get um, some protein sources. So, um, you know, I can hit my protein requirement for the day because I haven't had a whole lot today. I think I've only had about 90 grams or so, so to uh, fill up on some protein then I've got a couple of bananas as well just to um, you know some micros and you know obviously a few grams of carbs but um, look forward to getting back now in a good mood um, glad, glad I got a gym sorted and um, yeah I think we're just gonna get back watch some Netflix and um, for those of you that are wondering you know what's your girlfriend doing while you're at the gym she's you know this, this is her time to get her stuff done aka dry her hair, wash her hair, straighten it. Um, obviously not in that order because that'd be weird, right? So she washes it and dries it then straightens it. Um, and that takes time and she's got to sort all her um, washing and um, things out like that. So, you know, that's that's what it is. Um, but obviously, you know, we are on a holiday, we are away. So that's why I try to get my workouts in um, a little bit quicker. You know, I'm not gonna spend three, four hours in the gym, you know, cause I'm on the other side of the world, so. Um, I want to try and get my workout in, hit my weights, and get out of the gym as fast as possible. And um, yeah, that's been the case tonight. So I'm going to head back now, eat some food, eat some protein, and um, yeah, just probably watch some Netflix or something. So, hey, you guys have enjoyed this video so far. I'll see you when I am back at the hotel. Okay, so right now we're gonna go to bed because we have to get up pretty early tomorrow because we're having breakfast at the hotel. Um, and I think that finishes at like 10 o'clock, but I think you have to be there for like half past nine at the latest. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try and get some sleep now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in that next one. Peace. <laughs>